This one is very poetic. Um, the visuals, the narration, um, which the voice actor does a great job. Uh, very subdued and calming and compelling sound to him. Love that. Uh, the visuals are a lot of stunning visuals. It is very much this uh, sort of commentary on uh, society and I guess social, socioeconomic values, stuff like that. Um, and they just did a great job of uh, contrasting a lot of powerful imagery. So I thought it was a really strong little doc. It's very interesting. I really uh, enjoyed the uh, tone of the narrator's voice while uh, reciting those poems um, with such difficult subject matter um, that we face today as a whole on our planet. It was so soothing to have a voice like that under, you know, kind of guide you through it. Um, it left me on all different levels of emotion and I know that's what you were going for. It was beautifully shot. I really loved the imagery that you chose. Um, and it really was heartfelt. I really felt it on every level. Um, and my soul, after it was finished, was like, oh. uh, we have so much left to do and so much to learn. What is moving? It's uh, nice to see it represented in a way that is artistic and yet honest and poignant. Um, I liked the part um, just after the midpoint when he said, my soul blushes. It was a positive aspect that there are still beautiful places on our beautiful planet. It was very unique from any other of the documentaries that I had watched. It went from a little village to big cities and had eight different poems. I thought it was uh, an interesting choice to um, not have it be a traditional documentary highlighting the immigration crisis. Um, throughout the world. It's presented with like soft piano music and it's broken into chapters where someone um, reads uh, these poems um, about various things. I thought that was a, a, a cool and interesting way to present a story like that. What I loved most about the short was the opening, how it really gets you, it gets you right into the film um, with this music playing that uh, it's rather creepy. Uh, it's unsettling. It, it, you don't know what's going to happen um, of you know because you see the title and, and you what you're expecting, and then you hear this music, um, and then that's paired with the images um, of the, these bright images of wealth, people in a pool, slow motion shots, people having a good time, um, shots of store like Prada, all of that, and then we see the images of war. Um, the planes, whatnot, leading to that, and then we go into the actual part of the film where we have the poems being read. When it's compared, it's um, paired with these other powerful images. Really good job doing that, guys, and great um, intro. I really like the prologue and the, the really cool cinematography. The wealth, <clears throat> showing the wealth of a really powerful nation. Each segment of the poem, all of the eight segments, seem to to um, switch uh, or alternate between a more wealthy society and a uh, less affluent or poor society. Um, but the, um, you know, of course there's always drawbacks of everything. Um, in the wealthy societies there's a tremendous strain on the earth, on natural resources, on pollution, creating pollution. Um, uh, I liked the soft um, the slow melodic uh, piano music in the background. I thought that was that really set the tone and uh, it drew me in to the film um, setting the right mood and the right okay. tone. There was just some really deep uh, I guess lines in the film that really made you think about what the what the narrator was was trying to convey and uh, that was really really interesting to so, me. yeah overall I really liked the film I thought it was really well done um, in all aspects cinematography um, the soundtrack music really cool I really enjoyed the introduction for this one the combination of the camera effects with the music really set a beginning tone for the film um, I also loved how each poem worked with the filming and the music to emphasize and help the poem get a greater value as well as well too such as the poem metro you have a video scene of the city and 
the uh, edit is fast forward to make the city look very, very busy. Uh, so very a lovely good job. little conceptual film. The scenery is, is fabulous. The photographs are very moving. Um, the soundtrack is very good and the poems are very interesting. I'm not sure it has a story as much as it is a conceptual art piece, but very well done, very intriguing, and um, a kind of a sad commentary on our times, but uh, very well done. I really enjoyed three things. First and foremost, the prologue. I really appreciated it. And especially the words, the name of the film that came right after the prologue. I, it made so much more sense and gave it so much meaning. Number two, multiculturalism. Really enjoyed that the perspective was the kind of the, the story was shown from so many different perspectives or off so many different perspectives. Really enjoyed different countries, different continents. Thank you for including my home, Ukraine. My very sad, but very sweet. Uh, I really wow. liked the intro as well. And uh, I felt like there was a good narrative from the visual uh, footage that was picked out. Um, you can see kind of the beginning, it's a bit lighter and at the end it, you know, it was in some ways kind of a tragedy. And I would plus one on the multiculturalism. Uh, I really did um, appreciate that it was all these different perspectives from around the globe. Uh, really good choice in the well, footage. That one was really touching and very moving. I mean, the, the narration, and the poems were beautiful. All the uh, scenes, all the photography was really beautiful. Each one of the frames and like the whole story that it's telling you with the poems. It's just beautiful. Um, I really enjoy it and it just it was really touching. Like, it, yeah, it's, it was beautiful. That was awesome. I loved how the themes were different and all of them and they're so unique and it was so interesting to watch it was really really cool i loved the way it was made um i loved it was so entertaining to watch because it was so cool so different i really liked the use of poetry and i thought the portraits at the very end drove the message home the poem had a lot of layers and a lot of metaphors and the images surprised you along the way 